Hello, good to see you again. Thanks for joining me. My name is Stephen. I hope you've been enjoying my video series. I'm so excited. I have so many ideas popping up. And I see myself doing more and more and more videos. Today's topic, imagine life without expectation. I, I have a question for you. How many of you have found yourself expecting too much? Let me see your hands. Probably most of you, if not all. I have found myself in a situation where I had an expectation, an unrealistic expectation. The Court to Miracles says something about having expectations lead to sadness. When we go through life expecting, life expecting, we set our thoughts for disappointment. We don't need that. We can't control other people. We can't control their behavior or their emotions or whatever. Maybe you're a wife and your husband is working late and you, you cooking you cooked dinner. You expect him to arrive home on time. But he shows up late every night and you become disappointed, sad, angry. And the relationship between the two of you goes down. Why? Because you have an expectation. What if we led our lives without expectation? I want to share two experiences with you. The first one happened recently. It was with a good friend of mine on Friday night. I asked my friend what he was planning to do. He said, I have plans tonight, but tomorrow, Saturday night, no plans. So I said, great, fine. I'll contact you tomorrow. So Saturday came, I contacted him around 7 in the evening and I said to him, so what's up? Want to get together? And my friend said, oh no, I have plans already. I'm going to a birthday party for another friend. I felt like he punched me because I set up an expectation that the two of us will get together. That didn't matter, that we didn't make plans. I told my friend, oh, no worries, fine. But inside, I was upset. To see what happened, I, I stuck something off, and I hurt myself in the process. So, I met with my friend later, a few days later, I told him the truth. I was honest with him. I was willing to be vulnerable, and I told him, that's what. Do you remember Friday, Saturday, I told you, blah, 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 blah. I told him that I set up an unrealistic expectation. How many of you can relate? Many of you, probably. So, it was good that I communicated with my friend as quickly as possible. I got that out. I was willing to become vulnerable. Another thing that happened many years ago, I had a friend who was always, always late, and I hated that. So every time I made plans with him, I told him, be there at 3 o'clock, exactly at 3. I wanted him to change his behavior. One day, he showed up late at usual. And I thought, that's it. 
Next time we, we get together, if you are late more than 15 minutes, I'm leaving. He didn't, he didn't think I would do it. Well, um, a few days later, we made other plans. And he was late. So I said, fine, I'm leaving. He was never late after that. So the point is that I cannot train other people's behavior, but I can train mine. What if we went through life without expectations? I have a challenge for you. Why not set up a 30 day challenge where you have no expectations? You give gifts or provide um, acts of service without expectation of return. See what happens. I feel that expectations causes self pain. There's no need for that. I have a quote I want to show you from the Dalai Lama. See, sounds about right. Thanks for listening to me. I'll see you next time.